today I am doing a DIY uh, little drawer label thing for Emma. If you want to see my previous video, click here. And if you want to go follow me on Twitter or Instagram, um, my Instagram thing will be here. And my Twitter thing will be here. Same place, but different times, you know. So without further ado, let's get on with this video. Okay, so this is Emma's drawer. This is the front of it. It's got five drawers, and then this is the top of it. So this is how plain it was at first. So what you're going to need is some patterned paper, a pin, and some measurements, uh, some scissors, a ruler, and a pencil. So I just started to pick out a design for Emma. Her favorite color is pink, so I tried to get one with some pink in it. And I finally decided on this one, so I just ripped out the piece of paper, and I only needed this one piece of paper for this whole project, so that was nice. So right here, I'm starting to draw out the box that I need to cut out for the top. And I'm just making a little mark six inches away from the corner, and then making another mark uh, five and a half inches away from that previous mark, and then six inches, another mark six inches away from the corner again. And then I'm just connecting all of those lines to make the box. Okay, so if you didn't really understand that, uh, here's a little like thing to help you. If you want to make that box, you need to make a mark six, six inches, let's say, away from the corner. And then another mark five and a half or six inches away from that mark going upwards and then you want to make another mark that is six inches away from the corner again going the other way and then all you have to do is connect all of those lines to form your box so now I'm just starting to cut out the box from the paper And after this, I'm writing Spanish note cards on the paper. Emma, um, I was really worried that she wouldn't like my handwriting because I, I mean, I'm okay with it, but to be honest, I'm not okay with other people's handwriting, so I didn't know if she would be okay with mine. And it just says Spanish note cards on it, and she did over, like, go over it later. So now I'm looking for my measurements, looking at my measurements for the drawers, and I'm pretty sure there were 6 inches by 2 inches, so I'm doing the same technique as I used on the top of the drawer label. And uh, I think I went 6 inches up from the corner, and then I just went 2 inches away going on the other side. It doesn't, I guess it doesn't really matter which step you do first, but I would suggest the way that I showed you in the little, um, I don't know. <laughs> the little like white and black box things that I use but anyway I'm using the same technique as I did last time and I'm just connecting all of the lines so Emma wanted me to write the labels on for the drawers in Spanish so I'm just doing that saying on them uno dos tres cuatro cinco I made five of them because there are five drawers obviously and yeah just watch me write So this is everything that I did and I ended up making and this is how it looks on the front of the drawers. I think this is really cute and I'm happy that Emma really likes it. So here's the front and here is the top and as you can see she did go over it and I think it looks a lot better. So I hope you guys liked that video. If you did give it a thumbs up it would really be appreciated. Uh, I want to get like 50 subscribers by valentine's day so if you subscribe that would really help sorry about the lighting right now it's like really dark outside and i have natural lighting so props comment down below if you guys want to see a january favorites video and i think that's all that i have to say right now thank you for watching and see you guys next week